Hello everyone, this is Prashnikant Singh Mundela and we are going to discuss in macroeconomics today the topic of international economics that is Pribisk Singer Thesis. These are the two economists who have discussed about a thesis which is based on terms of trade and they have said that these terms of trade are not in favor of LDCs that is less developed countries. In 1950 May, Paul Prabisk had written the paper The Economic Development of Latin America and its Principal Problems and in the same month, Hans Singer has written the distribution of gains between investing and borrowing countries. They both have focused on the reasons why this terms of trade is in the favor of developed countries and not in the favor of less developed countries when it comes to long term. First of all, let us understand what is primary sector. All the raw material products are known as primary sector products. For example, mining, agriculture, fishing, forestry, mineral extraction, all this comes under primary sector. Now suppose there are two kids, suppose they are brother and sister and they both want to have a kite. So the father gave them few papers for kite, a glue and few sticks. The boy was expert in making a kite. But the girl was not. So when she was not technically sound to make a kite, she begged her brother that please make a kite for me also. The brother said, okay, but if you want a kite, you have to give me five papers and glue and sticks for that five kites. And when I will make five kites out of it, I will give two to you. The girl said, okay, because I am not technically sound. I don't know how to make such a beautiful kite and I don't have the options also because in market no one makes such a beautiful kite like you and this brother is having a monopoly because his kite are very famous in the area. He used to make kites very beautifully and he knows that if he is offering something in favor of his gain then, then the offer will be accepted and she accepts it. Same thing is happening in the developed and less developed countries. The, all the raw materials less developed countries having used to give more to the developed countries and in return they get less products out of that. Means on the basis of export statistics concerning the United Kingdom between 1870 and 1940, Raul Prabisk demonstrated that the terms of trade had secular tendency to move against the primary products and in favor of the manufactured and capital products. Everyone wants to be in the favor of manufactured products. No one wants to first take the primary products and then manufacture out of that unless and until they don't have money. So the equation becomes unfavorable for LDCs means less developed countries that is in gross barter system QM is on the numerator side and QX in the denominator means exports in the denominator and imports on the upper side the numerator so when imports are less and exports are more you are exporting more of primary goods and you are getting less of import goods q refers to quantity then this term will come less or unfavorable for less developed countries because they are exporting more and getting less so for this thesis Hensinger and Raoul Prewisk has given the some assumptions number one is as income rises in the advanced countries, the pattern of demand shifts from primary products to the manufactured products due to Angel's law. Means if income is rising in advanced countries, they will not demand for the primary products, they will demand for the manufactured products. As I explained earlier, there is slow rise in the demand for the products in the developed countries. In developed countries, there is very slow rise of the products you are offering means the LDC's products are not so much influencing to the developed countries. The export market for product of LDC's is competitive. As I said that there are many competitors who are offering primary products to developed countries. So developed countries are having monopoly but not the case with us. The export market for products of developed countries is monopolistic. As I said you, wages and prices are low in LDC's definitely. When the production is low, wages and prices will be also low. The appreciation of substitutes for products of LDCs reduces demand for them. If 
we are having a substitute for the products being made in our own country we will try to use that product instead of our own because it is being imported from foreign country and is less expensive also the benefit of increased productivity is not passed by the producers of manufactured products in advanced country to the ldcs through lower prices means the products which are being produced in the developed countries known as manufactured products are not being given to the less developed countries in lower prices they are not being passed they are being used by the countrymen of developed country therefore they are of no use or of less use or are not profitable to the ldcs the economic growth in ldc is indicated by income terms of trade so here the point is which i want to say that there is a type of terms of trade known as income terms of trade and the economic growth in less developed country is being calculated on the basis of income terms of trade they are assuming these assumptions before starting the thesis of secular deterioration of terms of trade they are given the reasons why the ldcs are not in benefit of the terms of trade in long run and developed countries are much in profit gaining a lot in long run suppose the less developed country is producing some products taking funds from international monetary fund or world bank so they are having debt also and because they have taken debt so they have to produce products with high price and those product when not being sold they have to produce less and when the pressure of debt is on the less developed country because you have taken some money from international monetary fund you have to return it also and when you are not in the position to return and you are having highly pressure on you at the same time there are many other countries who are offering the same kind of product to the developed countries in less prices the only option with you left is you will also have to sell all these products in less prices means you are secularly deteriorated because of terms of trade so the reasons of this secularization is as said by previsk singer thesis it generally took to be the proposition that the net barter terms of trade between primary goods means raw materials and the manufactured goods have been subject to long run downward trend the same thing which i was explaining so the first reason of secular deterioration is absence of qualitative improvement of products what is it when it comes to ldcs what they are producing they are producing raw materials mining agriculture products fishing forestry minerals and they don't advance fishes don't advance forest don't advance the wood is the same which is being produced 50 years ago all the raw materials which are being produced 50 years ago are the same which are being produced now that means there is no such qualitative improvement in products because they are primary products and because of this you cannot raise the prices of these products as you can raise of the manufactured one so that is the reason why ldcs are deteriorating second reason is distribution of gains from technical progress in opinion of h w singer the secular deterioration in the terms of trade in the ldcs can be attributed to the fact that the gains from technical progress in developing countries has been passed on to the consumers in the advanced countries through exports of primary products at lower prices they have produced it at lower prices and now they are offering it to advanced countries so they are consuming it they are in a big gain if you are being producing the products and selling them at higher prices then you are in benefit when you are selling that advanced product of your technology to the advanced countries in less price then it is their gain they are getting cheap products which are highly technical also and if the person or the producer who is selling those products to advanced countries is getting something then his own income is rising not the country's income or the terms of trade income he is taking benefit out of it suppose there is a person who is producing something in your country and selling outside then he is benefiting himself mm -hmm.